singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Today, too fast. Oh, out of nowhere. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. He's absolutely relentless here. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. What do you think about John Cena? Here's somebody who's willing to do just about anything to get to the top. I like it. That's the way it should Two. be. Three. Uh-oh. What a slam. Oh. This entire building just moved. Man, you're right. That shook the oh. arena. I'm not sure I can watch this. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, oh no. To the temple. If a superstar wants to lock up with John Cena, they're going to have to be ready for the STF. We all know about Cena's high-powered offense, but Cena has won many a match and many a championship with his painful submission hold invented by the incomparable Luthez. Michael, that is right. Everyone talks about Cena's power, and they should. I mean, we do. When Cena's power locks you in that STF, the painful submission hold can turn into a crippling one in mere seconds. John studied the move, its origins, and can apply it to any opponent. Textbook offense here. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. Cole, Cena's version of the STF should definitely be on all of the superstar scouting reports. I think of all the great points that could be said, I think the most important thing that really stands out is that Cena can slap that STF on anyone. To an opponent, that spells danger. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Woo, a little showboating going on here. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. And that takes him off his feet. We are both on the same page when it comes to Cena's STF, and if anyone is going to sign a contract to fight John Cena, they better know about it. It's history, it's effectiveness, and how he finishes opponents with it. Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sound. Oh, wow. Quick thinking to avoid that. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. Oh, God, that was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Well, whether you're someone who loves John Cena or hates John Cena, and of course, there are plenty of both, there's no avoiding John Cena. And that's one of the things that makes every one of his matches so exciting. You know that one half of the building is going to be going nuts, hoping to see Cena get pummeled, and the other half will be the C-Nation, going even more nuts to see him dominate. Got him hooked. Five. Oh man, I wouldn't mind a wireless mic right now. We don't want to be here much longer. Oh, this may very well end it. And there goes the table. Well, all bets are off now. Well, it was nice while it lasted. The pedigree. This one is in the books. Pedigree to perfection. And you know, King, there's always a special buzz in the arena on nights when John Cena's in the ring because of what. You said, King, no one is... With all that build-up, it's sad to see it end like that. This one is waved off.